Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken Training Videos. Today we're going to do a review, a tool review for this uh, Ryobi tool. It's a uh, door latch installation kit. This is the tool itself right here. This is what it looks like from Ryobi. And this is the packaging that it came in. There's the model number right there in case you want to acquire the same one. I got this at the Home Depot for probably 10 bucks. I like this tool, it's a good tool. There's a couple of tricks to it. I'm gonna go over those tricks right now, but I do like it, I recommend it, and I use it, and I like it. And um, that, the, the, the tool costs 10 to $20, something like that. Okay, now I got a slab door that's right here. Here's our slab door. I already cut out for the lock set hole with this Irwin tool right there, you can check out my other videos if you want to see how that demonstration is on that tool. But that's how I created those two holes. Now, I need to create another um, recess for the door latch. This is the look that you're going for, so that when this door latch sits in, it sits in there flush and it's radiused off here, here, and here. So this is another door that I did as a final product. Now. When it comes to this tool here, the first thing you need to determine is what size is the radius here. This particular tool has two different sizes. You can push it through here and you can take this and you can flip it around. Um, so this is kind of more squared off and this has got rounded, uh, a rounded uh, radius to it. I know I need the one that's the uh, rounded radius to it. So it just fits in here, like so, and it just snaps into place. And then this here is another um, portion of the tool that it slides out, okay? So this way it, let me just see if I can show it to you just right, uh, right there. So this tool here, hang on slides out right there and it depends upon the door thickness. It says right on it that if it's a one and three eighths inch door, uh, hang on a second, one and three eighths inch door, it's a little hard for me to read, then this goes against the door edge. So my doors are one and three eighths of an inch. So that, so this does go that way. If you, if you had a different size door, you you take this out, come on, there it is. It slides out like that. And then you just take this here and you just turn it upside down, slide it back in, and that would be for doors that are one and three quarters of an inch. My doors are not one and three quarters, they're one and three eighths, so you want to make sure you have this in in the right way. It goes like that. And you can always just measure your door thickness just to be sure. Alright, so there's my door thickness right there. You can see that it's one and three eighths of an inch. Uh, hold on, right there. So just measure your door if you don't know what your door thickness is, and that will tell you. Oops, hold on. Okay, so if you don't know your door thickness, just throw a tape measure on it, figure it out. And there it is, one and three eighths of an inch door thickness. So now we know that is confirmed. Uh, and I've got this um, tool set on the uh, correct way that it's supposed to go. Basically what you're going to do now is you're going to hold this up against the door. This section here fits inside of the hole that you already cut out for the lock set. And then you're going to take a hammer and you're going to hit here and here. So this way you can um, indent this section, like chisel this section out. So let me grab my hammer. All right, we've got our hammer. This is what we're trying to uh, put in here. And this is what we're trying to radius out for. Okay, so now that we've got my hammer, I've got some chisels here so I can uh, help assist in doing this job. And I've got my uh, Ryobi door installation kit. Uh, I'm gonna put this in. So it's flat, good to go. And the way I like to do it is I hold back here and I hold on one side while I tap in. 
And once that, what that's doing is it's cutting out this reveal for me. So I'm going to go ahead. Now I'm in there pretty good and I'm in there pretty deep. <clears throat> now what I want to do is I want to start chiseling this material away. Okay? So it's got a built-in tool here. And I believe the way that they want you to do it is they want you to go in so that it's flat here and then tap this way. I've noticed that when I do that, it goes in too deep. So what I do is I go in all the way and then I lift up so that it only scores out a, a, a less than what the depth of this tool is. So I'm going to put it in all the way and then come out a little bit, resting up against the back side here. As I get close to the end here, what I do is I kind of twist it and turn it. And I don't want to... Um, I don't want this section here to be under too much stress. That's why I do it that way. Okay? And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to clear the tool of the wood. Get that tool cleared. Put this in. And now do the other side. Lift up here a little bit. On this side, lift up a little bit. And then tap in on the back side. So it's like I'm not taking off a full bite at a time. As I get close to the end, I twist the tool and I kind of go like that. And now I, I'll clear the tool of this wood. And then I've got my latch set here and I can go ahead and do a test fit just to see how things are kind of lining up. And I can see that I, I know I have to go further back in here, but, it, but this is not bad. Now, even though the Ryobi says you can do the whole thing with just this tool, I still like to have hand chisels around to do my finish work. Um, so I'm just going to slightly see if I can't take off a little bit here with just, a, with just a chisel to see if I can't get exactly where I want it to go. So I may not do, so I'll use a combination of that tool plus a little bit of hand chiseling as well. I'll, use, I'll do both. And then I'll, do, I'll keep test fitting it until I feel comfortable with how, how deep it, everything is and where exactly my hang-ups are and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go, go through it here again, take another bite off. And I'm just going to keep working it until I get it. Basically, that's it. That is the whole job. Bits just to get it just right. Looks like I'm a little high on this side right there. And I don't want to hit too like this so that that knocks out. If I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit like this. So it's, it's not going towards the wood that I don't want to damage. I don't want to damage this radius here. I want to make sure that I'm inside of that when I, uh, when I do the work. So I'm always being careful that way. Oops. Uh, and just making sure that I'm not trying to uh, hurt the rest of the, wood, the job here. Just trying to get the, the material out that I want. And that's it. It's not it's, it's, the wood is not like super hard wood, it's kind of soft wood anyway, so it doesn't take a lot of effort in order to get it. Okay, that actually feels really, really good. 
I got a couple of screws here. Let me just go ahead and clean that up just a little bit. It's not bad. It's very, very, very close. But if I was to say anything, I would say that it's a little high on this side. I just want to pull out a little bit of material here. Okay, there you go. There's your. That's how. It, that's how it's going to be installed. You can see that I'm pretty much flush. So let me just take the camera like this so you can see how flush that is. It's pretty much flush with the door, which is the which is what you're going for. I did not chisel it out, so I don't have squared off corners. I have rounded corners, giving you the most professional look you are going to get. Uh, again, this is the uh, Ryobi door latch installation kit. Uh, there's your model number right there, A99LM2. And I do recommend this product. And then once your door is in, this is basically what everything's going to look like. In my particular case, I've got white doors and I'm using Schlage hardware. Everything going to close and latch just right and that's your final product what it's going to look like after everything is said and done. That concludes this tool review for the Ryobi door latch installation kit and this is uh, Ken with Ken Training. Please check out my other videos. I have other door videos if you're interested more in doors, installing doors and I have other videos as well. Subscribe to my channel, hit like if you like the video. See you later, alligator.